Okay, this question uh, has a lot of information in it. So the first thing to do is read through and either underline or highlight things that are going to be important or might be important. So it says, here is a list of ingredients for making 18 mince pies. Well, that's going to be important. And it tells you what the ingredients are. And it tells you that this girl Elaine wants to make 45 mince pies. That's important. Obviously she's having a big Christmas party. And it tells you what she's got. It tells you that she's got one kilogram of butter, one kilogram of flour, 500 grams of sugar, 600 grams of minced meat and six eggs. The actual question says, does Elaine have enough of each ingredient to make 45 mince pies? You must show clearly how you got your answer. Right. Okay. Well, some of you might be thinking, okay, if she's going from 18 mince pies to 45 mince pies, that is 27 more mince pies. So you might be thinking, well, just add 27 to every ingredient that she's got that, that we need for 18. All right, so butter... So 225 plus 27 would be 252 grams of butter. Straight away is a problem. Are we really saying that to go from 18 mince pies, where you need 225 grams of butter, to go to 45 mince pies, more than double, more than double, we only need 252 grams of butter? No, I think not. I think this is a bad idea, adding 27. Scrap it. We need something else. And these questions that involve the ingredients normally involve ratio and proportion, which means you need to start thinking about multiplication and even sometimes division as well. They're the two main things we need to think about. So... She's going from 18 mince pies to 45. I need a scale factor. I need to know what do I times 18 by to get 45. Once I've got that, that number, I can then get cracking. So, this is a calculator paper. This, well, this is from a calculator paper. So, I'm going to get my calculator, alright, and I'm going to find out what I need to times 18 by to get 45. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to see how many 18s make 45. In other words, what's 45 divided by 18? So I'm going to key that in, 45 divided by 18. And that is going to give me 5 over 2. Right, this is a Casio calculator. And one of the most important buttons on here is this one here. This says ROD. Because that means I can switch between the fraction version of the answer and the decimal version. Well, I want the decimal version, so if I press it, it tells me it's 2.5. Great. Right, so now I know my scale factor, 2.5. So, I'm going to keep that just to one side. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to times each of these ingredients by 2.5 just to make sure that she's got enough of each one. So, here we go. Butter. Right. I'm trying to show my working out very, very clearly for the examiner. So 225 grams for 18 people. Times that by 2.5 or 2.5. Let's see what I get. 225 multiplied by 2.5 equals... And I need that button again, that SROD button, to give me a decimal answer which is wow, 562.5 grams of butter. 
Right, she's got a kilogram of butter. She's got more than enough butter, so I'm going to tick that. That's fine. Okay, now flour. Right, flour, 350 grams needed for 18 mince pies, times that by 2.5. Let's have a see when I'm going to get 3, 5, though, times by 2.5, 875 grams of flour. Again, she's got a kilogram, she's got plenty. Because don't forget, a kilogram is 1,000 grams. Kilo means 1,000. Moving on to sugar. Right, sugar, 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 one, right, so it's 100 grams that you need for 18 mince pies, times that by 2.5. Yes, I could do it on the calculator, but I happen to know that 2.5 times 100 is 250 grams. Has she got enough? Yeah, she's got loads. She's got loads of sugar. Right, mince meat. Mince meat, right, needed, well, 280 grams of mince meat for 18 mince pies, but times that by 2.5. Here we go, 280 times 2.5, 700 grams. She would need 700 grams of meat. Ah, problem. She's only got 600 grams. So I'm going to give a cross for that one because I don't need to do any, anything else really. I don't really need to check, check on the eggs because already I know that she can't make all the mince pies she wants to because she's not got enough mince meat. Silly Elaine. Right, so I'm going to make that clear to the examiner in a sentence that makes some sense. Right, so Elaine cannot cannot make 45 mince pies because she only has 600 grams of mince meat. She needs 700 grams of mince meat. And that is my final answer. A lot of working out, but it's a four mark question and I've hopefully showed clearly why she can't make the 45 mince pies.